Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to show root x on a number line. Mm, the first thing that we need to understand that we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem and we know that from Pythagoras we can know the value of any of the three if we know the value of the two of the components of it. Okay. So this will be the crux in understanding root x, right? Now, before going directly into how to show root x on the number line, we will try some possibilities just to see that whether it's possible by some other means to show root x on the number line. So just for a recapitulation, if you have already drawn root 2 or root 5 on the number line, you must know that this is what you do. You you take a number line and you mark it 1, 2 and 3 and so on on a number line and from this is the point 0 this is my 1 unit you make 1 unit 90 degree and you join the two points and by putting Pythagoras like this is my 1, this is my 1 so h squared is equal to perpendicular squared plus base squared so you get 1 and 1 square of 1 is a 1 so you get a 2 and your h becomes root 2 okay so can we use now since we want to now root x on the number line so we have to definitely use x to prove it we'll try different ways out how we can prove root x on the number line so let's check out this one suppose this is my number line and this is my point zero if I say this is my point x from zero to x this is my x if I move suppose say x units straight so that means at this point we have got a 90 degree and connect it so this becomes an x this becomes an x so what will this become so we need to see it x squared plus x squared okay so gives you my hypotenuse squared and you know it is 2 hex x squared so my h will be x root 2 okay that's what it is right so we don't see anywhere that we have got root x right or if we try to see another way out or if we take a number line okay point zero call it x okay call it x from zero to this point is x or if we move one unit up over here from here straight up nine degree and we plot it this becomes one and this is my h suppose say this is my h so it becomes h squared is equal to x squared plus 1 and h is under root x squared plus 1 right but still we don't get root x anywhere right if you reverse the order make it 1 and make it x you still get the same thing so somewhere there is a problem okay so by many trial and errors you know we can do this thing by okay making it a point zero or maybe any point doesn't matter okay we say we call this from here to here we call this thing as x units okay and we move one unit okay to this side because this is the one that's going to help us out okay now taking center so we need to call the points as a and b okay there's my b think this taking the midpoint of a and b what we get say somewhere over here this is my midpoint okay so if there's a midpoint i can draw a semicircle okay and make a 90 degree from here right touching the circumference of the semicircle let's call it 
a D. Now, you can see from here that this was my center and any, any line touching from the center to the circumference you know it's a radius so this is my radius and so is this so both are radius if we come to know the value in terms of x for radius and this point suppose this is a b call it a c call it center o okay so you can see OC over here. If you get the value for OC and R, and we'll try to find out what the value for CD is. If it turns out to be root X, then we can prove that. Extend the line, okay? We can prove that CD is my root X. What we are supposed to do? We need to find the value for the base and the hypotenuse, and we see that my radius is AO and that is x plus 1 by 2 you see that because from A to B it's x so if you take half of it as O is the midpoint between A and B so half of it is x plus 1 by 2 but x plus 1 by 2 is equal to the radius okay and there's is the hypotenuse also for the triangle OCD okay can we find OC now and you can see you can find it by taking AC and subtracting this part out of it you see this part you can subtract it and if you subtract that part from the whole AC you will get OC and we know the value for for A to C is X minus O A or A O and this is my A O so it becomes X plus one by two. Putting that in the Pythagoras we know that that we want to know perpendicular so P squared is equal to H squared minus base squared so putting the values for h squared this is h and this is x plus 1 by 2 the whole squared minus and the base is x minus x plus 1 by 2 the, the whole squared right now you see since we see this term x plus 1 by 2 and x plus 1 by 2 in both of the cases, you know, we are not going to expand it, we're just going to leave it the way it is. So x plus 1 by 2 whole squared, keeping that minus sign outside. Let's do it. This becomes a minus b the whole squared, and we know the formula for it that is x squared a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So this is my a becomes a squared plus b squared becomes x plus 1 by 2 the whole squared and minus 2 into a into let's do it somewhere else it becomes over here as minus 2 into a times b that is x plus 1 by 2 okay Put the parenthesis now solving it further you have to row part of it over here make some room for it okay now you can see P squared is equal to 
x plus 1 by 2 whole squared minus this becomes opening the brackets you say if you remove the bracket what you get is x squared minus x plus 1 by 2 the whole squared and you get minus you can cancel the two out from here and what you get is a positive when we open the bracket this sign becomes positive this becomes negative this becomes negative okay so positive x squared plus x multiplying this by this you get x squared multiplying this by this you get x times 1 is x okay you can see you can cancel these two things out and this one can be cancelled out you get p squared is equal to x or you get p is equal to root over x so this was my perpendicular and this is now root x so you can take your compass put the pencil over here and make an arc that, could, that will touch the number line at this point and this will be the plotting of root x on the number line in the next video we'll be talking about how to plot other values like 4.2 or any positive value on the number line thanks for watching the video